To begin, remove the artificial gum from the model. Prepare Verti's Orange Plus in A11 ratio of A plus B. Adding a drop of Verti's Orange late if needed to delay hardening. Take the 3D printed project without the artificial gum and use Verti's Orange Plus to create a mask that will contour the entire project. Press starting from the internal part toward the buckle side. Ensure the silicone is well adapted to the project. It is important that the mask is smooth at the end. Trim the excess silicone. Check the height of the model inside the Verti's Ferbo Alubig Big Flask. Leaving about 1 cm of space between the teeth and the inside of the lid. Apply two wax peninsulas at the level of the last molars on the buckle side. Isolate the base mask with petroleum jelly. Apply Verti's High Security Fluid A plus B silicone in A11 ratio to accurately reproduce all the details. Brush all the teeth with a generous layer. Once hardened, cover the entire project with Verti's Orange Plus. Isolate the inside of the Verti's Ferbo Alu Big Flask lid with petroleum jelly and check the height of the lid in relation to the model again. For the final step, prepare Verti's Easy Putty A plus B in A11 ratio and add Verti's Retard to delay the hardening of the silicone. Knead the silicone and insert half on the lid and the other half on the model. Place the lid on the rods and press it toward the base. Put the spaces on the upper part of the lid, place the nuts, and close using Verti's Dynamo block. Trim the excess silicone that spills over the top of the flask. Once hardened, open the flask and remove the silicone from the aluminum lid. Extract the printed project from the silicone. Use reamers to create the resin Verti's monomassa entry and exit channels. Place the telescopic caps and surround them with a thin layer of wax to create space for the dual cure cement. To correctly adapt the bar onto the telescopic caps, mark the wax head with a permanent marker to indicate where to cut the bar. Once adapted, trim the excess bar and photopolymerize it in the Moonlight 3 for 7 minutes at 100% power and 60 degrees Celsius. After photopolymerization, finish with tungsten carbide burrs and sandblast the bar at 2 bar pressure with 50 to 100 microns of aluminum oxide. Brush Verti's Universal Mineral Bond onto the finished bar. And proceed with cementation onto the caps using Verti's Mineral Quartz Dual Cure Cement. Wait for the cement to fully harden. Place the model on the base of the Verti's Ferbo Alu Big Flask. Close the flask, mix Verti's Monomassa Resin in A21 ratio. Inject it with a syringe through the large entry channel. After polymerization, open the flask and remove the implant bridge. To characterize the gum, make a small cut back and sandblast at 2 bar pressure with 50 to 100 microns of aluminum oxide. Then, apply Verti's Mineral Universal Bond, if you want to characterize Verti's Monomassa Resin. At this point, characterize the structure with Verti's Mineral Pink. We recommend using Verti's Mineral Pink Paste for covering the white Verti's Monomassa Resin and Verti's Mineral Pink Flow for characterization. The final steps are in the following order. 1. Use the burrs and brushes in the Verti's Polish kit for finishing. 2. Use Verti's Mineral Gel for photopolymerization in an oxygen-free environment. 3. Apply a very thin layer of mineral glaze and photopolymerize. 4. Spray Verti's Diamond Spray over the entire surface from a distance of 10 to 12 cm. Afterward, the polishing steps are twofold. With a harder brush, remove the excess glaze, and with the cotton brush, perform the final polishing. 